Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the two megagrams car is traveling along the curved road described by R equal to 50e to the power 2 theta in meters, where theta is in radians. If a camera is located at A and it rotates with an angular velocity of theta dot equal to 0 0.05 rads per second and an angular acceleration of theta double dot is equal to 0 0.01 rads per second squared at the instant theta is equal to a pi over 6 rads determine the resultant friction force developed between the tires and the road at this instant this problem is coming from the engineering mechanics and dynamics our 14th edition by rc bella you have been asked to determine the resultant friction force developed between the tires and the road at the instant theta equal to pi over 6. We've been given R, okay, uh, which describes the curved path. So let's draw the free body diagram. So we do have this coordinate, the radio coordinate. We are using polar coordinates. So we do have this coordinate. And um, of course the other one, they are like so. Okay. And these coordinates are ara and theta. And the question is, to find the resultant, to find the resultant uh, in that direction as well as that direction. And let's call this as F R. We call this as F theta. And then from the two, we are going to find the resultant friction force okay so before we sum up these particular forces uh, before we sum them up um, of course let's say we do have our kinetic diagram as follows like so and like so okay now we have m a r there and our m a theta like so so let's now find all the inputs that we're going to use for the accelerations in the r radio as well as theta directions so let's start with r so we do have r which is equal to 15 e to the power 2 theta therefore r dot which is the derivative of R with respect to T, we are using a chain rule. So 2 comes down, okay? So this becomes 2 by 50, it becomes 100, right? And then uh, theta dot, okay? And then e to the power 2 theta, right? You cannot follow this. Um, all we are doing is T, uh, the R with respect to dt okay so you can write this you can write 2 theta you can change 2 theta into you can say let uh, u be equal to 2 theta okay so that you have two functions here you will have um, uh, the R okay with respect to du by du with respect to uh, dt, right? Is that so? Mm -hmm. Of course. You can do this uh, using a uh, chain rule. Basically, this is what we are doing. Uh, right. So, there we go, and then our R double 
double dot, we are going to use the product rule. I'll factor out 100. So I have two functions here, theta dot and e to the power 2 theta. So for product rule, so I work out the derivative with respect to time of 1 while maintaining the other one constant. Then I move on to the second where I work out the derivative of the other while making the other one constant. So this just becomes the 2 theta dot uh, squared e to the power 2 theta. Right? I able to see it, right? Of course, you should see it. Um, then we do have theta equal to i over 6 rads. For this one, we don't have to convert this to degrees. We just have to use it the way it is. Okay. Because this is considered as more or less unitless. Right. So you cannot use degrees here. E to the power 2 theta degrees. No. 2 theta and degrees. This has to be left in as rads the way it is. Um, then we do have theta dot given. Okay. This is the angular velocity. Uh, and this is equal to 0 0.05 rads per second. Angular acceleration. This is equal to 0 0.01. So let's, uh, let's find those particular values. Okay. So R at theta equal to pi over 6. Let's work out these values. What do we get? So we do have that's e to the power 2 times pi divided by 6. There we go. Then times 15. So we do have a 142.84 okay 142.48 then we do have r dot theta equal to i divided by 6 and this is equal to um, 0.05 times times theta dot which is 0 0.05 then times 100 so this just becomes a 14.25. Then we have R uh, double dot. This is theta is equal to pi over 6 like so. This is just going to be equal to. Uh, let me divide. I get back to where I was. Mm -hmm. Alright. So this just becomes. Uh, theta double dot we factor out that point one plus two times point zero five two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ten times hundred. Of course, we do have a four point two seven. A four point two seven. Check it again. See two by pi divided by six. Okay, factor out point zero one plus two times or point zero five squared times hundred four point two seven. Come. So we have done everything. So now let's find the value of the acceleration in the radial direction, and this is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot squared. And we have all these values. Let's just replace them. R dot is 4.27 minus r is 142.48 times theta dot squared okay so this is a 3.9138 and then a theta is just equal to 
r theta double dot plus two r dot theta dot okay and then our a theta we do have all these values r is 142.48 times theta double dot point one plus two by r dot 14.25 times theta dot which is 0 0.05 Okay, and this we get a 2.8498. Alright, so we do have everything now. So what we just need now is uh, to uh, work out this, apply them in our equations. Alright, so we just say summation. Uh, summation. Of forces in the R is just equal to M A R and our R is in that direction like so. So we do have F R which is the resultant friction force and this is just going to be equal to M. Mind you our M here is 2000 so we have 2000 kgs times A R which we just calculated as 3 points. Uh, 9138 therefore our FR is just going to be equal to 2000 times 3.9138 okay this we get 7827.6 uh, two, 2000 by Mm, 3191387827.6 and we have summation of forces in the theta direction going in this direction like so and this is just equal to ma theta right so this is just equal to our m is 2000 and our a theta we just calculated is 2.8498 and f theta is just equal to 2000 times 2.8498 so this we get a 5699.6 these are all newtons okay that's 2000 times 2.8498 therefore the resultant friction force is just going to be equal to the resultant friction force is equal to uh, is equal to uh, let's go let's work it out so this is equal to this is equal to f r squared plus f theta squared okay right calculating f uh, sub uh, f so this just becomes equal to before we do so let me also write down the angle i'll need to calculate the angle i'll call it phi and i'll explain what this is so for phi i'll take my vertical component as f theta divided by f r as my horizontal so my f uh my f uh sub small f which is my resultant is just equal to 7827.6 squared uh, plus 5699.6 squared square root of that we have a 9682.81 newtons
okay and then uh, the angle phi is just equal to 5699.6 divided by 7827.6 turn inverse of that this is just a 36.06 degrees so for the resultant to be able to provide resultant friction force to be able to provide the central pit of force that is necessary to keep this particular vehicle in this curved path then this has to change direction we have to change this direction so the direction for this will rather be like this okay so this becomes our F okay this becomes our F R and then our resultant maybe somewhere there like so it's 36 let's say somewhere there that becomes our resultant F sub F and then this is our angle phi okay so ideally this is what it means uh, we have the resultant friction force uh, pointed towards the center of uh, curvature uh, to provide the central pit of force necessary to keep this particular vehicle or vehicle in this particular curved path so I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel um, and bye bye let me just extend this line uh, bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screen